I'm doing my part. What are you doing? doing well. I hope that your family is doing well and that you are enjoying this wonderful weather that we've been having. Thank you for joining me again this week. It means a lot that you guys take the time and that you watch these videos. Um, I don't want to sound like a, a YouTuber or anything, but you're always free to give these videos a like or a comment or anything like that. Uh, don't be shy about it. You are more than welcome to do so. Anyways, last week we left off with creation and how the world was created by God and how he created it in each of the days that he created it. I had something very special planned for this video. Unfortunately, though, I've been pretty busy with a couple of projects, both around the house and some other videos that I've been making uh, that will honor our seniors who are graduating here. But anyways, before we get too far, let's do like we do every week and let's connect and find that way to connect here. So take your candles. Uh, make sure to light them because we're not watching at the same time and I know you're not watching at the same time I record this because I still record and edit and put them all together but this lets us know that even though we're not together spiritually through the Holy Spirit we are connected still as one body and one people so let's get in talking a little bit about creation well we left at God creating the world, and we just mentioned quickly that he created the animals. But now, let's talk more about how he created the people. We're going to talk about the first people, and that's Adam and Eve. Really easy to find this story. Again, we're right at the beginning of our Spark Storybook Bibles, and that can be found on page 8. If you're using a normal Bible, you can find it again in that first book, Genesis chapter 2, verse 4 through 25. So, Spark Storybook Bible, page 8, and Normal Bible, Genesis, chapter 2, verse 4 through 25. Again, you can pause the video if you need any more time. Adam and Eve. After creating the whole world, God looked around and was very happy. It was an incredible world filled with wonderful animals, plants, and included two very special people. A man and a woman. God made a beautiful place for the man and the woman to live. An amazing garden. God named the man Adam and named the woman Eve. God said to Adam and Eve, I need some help, or I need someone to help me take care of this amazing world. Will you help me? Adam and Eve said, sure. We'd love to help you, God. Adam and Eve were very happy to care for God's beautiful world. All around them was an incredible creation. Together, they walked around the garden, amazed at what they saw. There were tall trees and short trees, fat trees and skinny trees. Wow, Eve, Adam said. Look at this. These flowers are every size and every color. Amazing, Eve said to Adam. It's all so beautiful. There were still quiet blue pools of Rustling or in a rustling breeze that blew through the garden. Everywhere they looked, they saw an amazing world. Look at all of those colorful plants. When she looked at all of the animals God placed in the garden, the ones that fluttered through the sky, the ones that wiggled and squirmed across the ground, the ones that frolicked and played, Across the land, Eve said, it's going to be hard to keep track of them all. Don't worry, Eve, Adam said. God asked me to give all the animals names, and pretty much to help us keep track and to take care of them all. This is a toucan, and a chickadee, that's a monkey, and this one's a squirrel. Look at all those animals. This tall creature is called a giraffe, the silly one with a long nose. She will be an elephant. And this one, who wags his tail, will be a dog. Adam said, look, he follows me wherever I go. 
God watched Adam and Eve as Adam shared all of the names of the animals while they played with them in the garden. God was very happy to see Adam and Eve were taking such good care of everything in creation. So as you can see, God created our whole world that we are in. He created all the animals, he created Adam and Eve, he created us, and he did a really good job at doing that. But he asked Adam and Eve to take care of everything that he created. And God still asks us today to take care of everything that he created. And sometimes I don't feel like we're doing a good job. Take a look at these photos here. It's pretty sad to see the world like this. Garbage everywhere. Pollution. Sometimes we don't do a good job of taking care of this world that God had created. But there are ways that we can make a difference in this world. Recycling is a great way to make a difference. Choosing paper bags over plastic when we're at the grocery store. Using things, or making choices, I should say, of using more long-term things, like instead of going to the gas station and getting a single-use plastic cup. Now, we can't do it now because of the COVID-19 stuff, but using a refillable mug to get our pop or our coffee. I know how much I need my coffee, and some of you parents, I know you need your coffee too. But finding ways to kind of reuse, you know, there's the old saying, reduce, reuse, and recycle. We can reduce how much we use. When it comes to my car, I don't live too far from downtown, and I know our church is downtown. So whenever I go to the church, when the weather's nice, I should walk or take my bike. I can help cut down on some pollution. Reuse. You know, we have reusable shopping bags, which again, we can't use right now, and same with our reusable mugs. But when things kind of do get a little bit back to normal, those are great ways to reduce and reuse some of our things that we do. And then recycle. Any cardboard box that we get, any plastic bottle or can, we should recycle them because they can take the metal in that can, they can melt it down, and it's a really cool process where they can make a new can of the old cans. It's really cool. If we had more time in this video, and if we had a recycling place around here that did that, I would for sure try to go and get that for a video. But unfortunately, we don't have that around here, and they take our recycling and they bring it down to Minneapolis, and they take that away, but that's okay. The ways that we do our life, and live, or live our life, we can make simple choices, simple changes that can have a huge benefit for later because this is the only world that God created for us to live on. And we don't want to mess that up. So as we go forward, remember that those three words, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Take care of this world, not just our own lawns and our own gardens, but the whole world in general. <music>
right, I hope you guys are enjoying this weather again. Until we see you again, take care. Remember to be safe, wash your hands, but most importantly, take care of this planet. Until then, see you guys later. Bye.